All right, we have an interesting case study for you. It's a 2003 Cadillac Escalade with a 6.0 liter. Uh, the concern was it was a crank, no start. Uh, a little history, the customer put a fuel pump on it and a fuel filter and then was towed into us. At that point, we hooked up the scan data and we cranked it and then we verified it did not start. Uh, one of the things that caught our eye was the RPM data was zero. Uh, we were cranking a little more and not actually saw the RPM data come alive and the vehicle then started. So we pulled it in the bay and we did it. We suspected it was a crankshaft sensor issue. So the wiring looked fine. Uh, we hooked up the lab scope and what we discovered was the reference voltage going to the sensor was actually three volts and it was producing a three volt square wave uh, and the car actually performed with no drivability concerns uh, no check engine light on for it uh, or no codes associated for it also uh, so we found that kind of interesting that the vehicle ran perfectly fine with a three volt square wave it's originally it's a 12 volt reference wire supplied to the sensor and from there it's square waved uh, if we want to show you the vehicle running with the three volt square wave. So what we're going to show you is there's another sensor attached to the reference system on this computer at 12 volt reference. And, so, and what we found was if we disconnect the camshaft sensor, we get our 12 volt reference back. Go ahead, Kelsey. So with the camshaft sensor disconnected, you can see the 12 volt square wave has returned as it should. Uh, we just found it kind of quite interesting that this vehicle runs with no drivability concerns. This could have threw a lot of people for a loop uh, because it could, the vehicle could have started and like, hey, it's fine, we can't duplicate the no start condition and, and ship it. Well, we all know that vehicle is going to come back on the hook eventually that sensor is going to be shorted back down the ground where it, we thought initially it would have been uh, and had no signal and not start so and I would just wanted to show hey this vehicle actually runs perfectly fine on 3 volt square wave and the 12 volt that's supplied didn't make a big difference at all so hopefully that gives some insight out there some people that watch it it's think this stuff's interesting we'll talk to you guys later